will now hear final arguments in the fastest case in the state of Georgia. Attorney Jensen. Yes, Your Honor. So I've spent some time getting to know my client for the past couple of days. And honestly, I know it has been the fastest trial in the history of trials. And one thing I do want you to know is that at least when it comes to my client, judge with your heart, judge with your mind, have some compassion, love and grace. And I know we have a prosecutor who is a Harvard slick back Mark Zuckerberg type, you know, male while I went to Bethune Cookman. And, um, you know, but at the same time, my client, he, he Admitted to possession of the drugs, yes. It was him, yes. But was it his? Was it his? No further statements. Are you sure? Attorney Joseph, thank you. Prosecutor Holmes, final argument. Well, first off, I believe, Your Honor, Jury, you're all owed an apology. Um, on behalf of the public defendant, this has been a waste of time. It's been a waste of resources, and I appreciate you being here. It's never our intention to uh, belabor due process. Fair and speedy trial, but the facts are clearly against the defendant, so thank you for being here. I'm just going to be really honest with you for a minute. I live in a gated community. My kids go to Buford schools, okay? Um, he's never gonna sell to my mother. He's never gonna sell to my son. My daughter's never gonna catch a stray from one of his drug wars. He's not gonna tear up my community. Think about your communities, okay? We know what kind of harm comes from these types of activities. That's why there are laws. We know what kind of repercussions come from these activities. That's why he has remorse. That's why he has a heart of gold today. That's why he's a model citizen today. And if we could judge based on our feelings, our sentiments, and our mercy and our grace, he would walk out of here today. And we would all believe that he will be the idealistic citizen going forward. But we judge based off of facts and based off of laws to protect ourselves and our families and our society. And for that reason, I believe that we can all come to the same conclusion today. I trust your decision. Thank you. Thank you. We will now take a brief recess to allow the jury to adjourn. Hold on one second, Your Honor. Um, actually, I believe I speak for all of us as we've already came to a decision about a day ago. Uh, we are tired. And to be honest, we, the jury, find the defendant. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Attorney Cross, nice to see you. Uh, this is highly irregular. You're not allowed to speak unless you're public defender. I'm still his public defender. No, you can't be taken. No, no, you fine. You fine. You can go and get up out of here, buddy. No, no, no. Stay right here, man. Learn something. Your Honor, if I may address the court. Todd? Can I? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I won't keep you long. So let's talk facts. The defendant, Damien Gio, yeah, he did admit to having the substance. He did confess. We all know this to be true. One thing we don't know is this piece of evidence I have right here. Illegal wiretaps obtained by an overzealous cop in his department without a warrant. And this right here, Your Honor, is what started this whole false investigation. Oh, I'm going to have to declare a mistrial. The order, in the, we are now adjourned, and you are all dismissed. Thank you.
said about uh, low-level street cops dealing with high-level men of the law, right? Mm -hmm. Things just got a little tricky, didn't they? <laughs> oh, and uh, tell Donna, I said, hey, y'all look good together. Let's go, Dee. <laughs>